The state Supreme Court recently rejected a challenge to a ruling that school districts here in California cannot require students to get vaccinated against COVID-19. The court saying that only state government can issue such a mandate. Joining us now to tell us a little bit more about this and the latest ruling is the founder of Let Them Breathe, Sharon McKeeman. Hi, Sharon, it's been a while, how are you? Good to talk to you, Logan. So this latest ruling confirming your organization's claim, right, that school districts can't issue these vaccine mandates. What are your thoughts on the ruling? Well, parents win again, and we are just celebrating that all of the hard work, uh, the common sense that went into this grassroots movement to file this lawsuit and carry it through has crossed the finish line. You know, the, the highest court in the state has affirmed that our initial ruling that happened about a year and a half ago is correct. And thankfully, we have not only now uh, kept over 100,000 San Diego Unified students from being forced into an unlawful mandate, but we've now protected millions of California students, not only right now, but into the future uh, against school districts that would want to put forward unlawful vaccine mandates, whether it be COVID vaccines or, you know, if they were to try to mandate the flu shot or, you know, it's been really clearly uh, put forward here that they do not have the authority to do that. And so we're so grateful for every parent uh, that helped make this happen. Does it look like the state government and the governor might make this a mandate? Are you learning one way or the other? Well, what we've seen is our legal efforts were successful. Also, advocacy efforts were successful in that the state and Governor Newsom is walking back that kind of emergency mandate they were going to put forward. So really, our focus now is on the legislative season because it's very clear that if this were to be mandated, uh, that would be the way to do it through the legislative process. Mm -hmm. Parents already beat bills last year that tried to add it to the pers uh, the um, uh, childhood list and take away personal belief exemptions. And I'm confident that parents will be able to do that again this year. Uh, we're also move mobilizing against uh, AB 6, I believe it's 59, uh, oh. and that would add HP to the childhood list. So really the focus now is that legislative season. Let me get your thoughts on a similar case that we've been following here um, just on Monday. Uh, the San Diego Community College District is now threatening to terminate a math professor unless she gets vaccinated. She didn't want to get vaccinated. She even got a religious waiver and she just, I guess, went before a hearing and now they want to terminate her. Do the rules seem different when they're talking about a school district wanting to terminate a professor or a teacher versus making a student get a vaccine? Well, we've gotten a lot of questions on that already. People have been asking, how does our ruling apply to college students per se or employees? And they are different areas of law from what I understand. Employment law is different than our arguments that had to do with uh, K through 12 students mm -hmm. access and rights to publicly funded education. That's also different from students in a private school or college. However, I think that what is similar and that, you know, whoever she's working with as far as her legal can draw from this is just that I think it's been proven over and over again that these mandates are going against citizens' rights. They're not necessary. And the science is really showing at this point that we were right all along. They're unnecessary and they're harmful. And I just, I think that those that are trying to force this teacher out, I've been following her story. It just shows as well that you know, as a woman of color, that's the type of voice that, um, you know, this college should be amplifying, not forcing out. And I think that's just absolutely, uh, I don't even have the words <laughs> for yeah. how horrific what they're doing to her is. Yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting. One thing that, that your case kind of determined is that it's really up to the state. It's not up to individual school districts all around the state to kind of make up their own rules and own mandates. So we'll have to see what happens with that case. Um, Sharon McKeeman, good to see you again, the founder of uh, Let yes, Them Breathe. Sure. Thanks, Sharon. I want to real quick give a shout out to our legal team as well, Honestad, Andalin, and Korn. They are incredible for taking this on and, and carrying it through to the finish line. It was a lot of hard work on their part. Sure was. Sharon, thanks.